Welcome to the Wiki Procedure Info channel. In this video, we'll see how to request for the shifting of the EB meter or the service line in Mizoram. The link I'm highlighting here is also provided in the description below the video. You can click on that link to reach this page. This page will have all the vital information, instructions, as well as some contact details that you will need in order to successfully request for the shifting of the EB meter or the service line in Mizoram. Also, the top left corner of the page has a select language tab, which you can use to select whichever language that you are comfortable in and view this page in that language. In order to request for the shifting of the EB meter or the service line, you need to approach the concerned electricity department. The contact details and address is provided over here. Clicking on the contact link will take you to this page which has the map as well as more phone numbers, fax number and email ID. With these details, you can get in touch with the authorities beforehand so that uh, you can know about their available timings and plan your visit accordingly. But before visiting the office, there are certain documents you need to prepare. You need to have some passport size photographs with you and uh, you also need to carry with you the copy of the latest paid bill. Then you need to have some ID proof on you for which you can use your passport, driving license or any one of these documents. Then uh, you need to submit a proof of ownership for which you can use the sa sale deed or the tax receipt or the letter of allotment. In case you are not the owner, you need to furnish an NOC from the owner. Then you need to uh, submit a proof of current address for which again you can use the same documents that you use for your ID proof uh, like your Aadhaar card, ration card, driving license, passport or any one of these documents. So once you have all the documents ready, you can visit the office and obtain the application form or you can click on this link over here and download the application form, take a printout of it and submit it to the authorities. Uh, fill in all the required details and uh, you need also need to attach all the uh, documents that I mentioned earlier before submitting it to the authorities. So once everything is in place, the authorities will make a quick survey and provide you with an estimate of the amount that you will have to pay. Once you pay the estimated amount as well as some additional custom deposits or developmental charges, the authorities will take the necessary steps to begin the shifting process. The time taken for that will be anywhere between 7 to 30 days. So uh, this brings us to the end of the video. If you like the video, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you.